So my name is Grecia Palma and I am owner of I Am Used. I've been here since 2017, I want to say, on and off in the beginning, but now I'm permanently here and it's been three years. Why don't you explain what the name of your shop means to you? I okay, so I Am Used was a name that came to me before I even started my brand. It was just a name that like just stuck in my head for years. I was like, I am used, I am used. I'm gonna do something with I am used. But for me, I am used. It's not just one thing in particular. It's everything and everyone. Like I, anybody could be a muse. You could be my muse. He could be my muse. Blue could be my muse. Like everybody's a muse. What makes your business stand out? My mobile shop. Yeah. We started off with the bus and it kind of expanded my bus the installation, you know, and it's not just a bus where I load everything. Like, I feel like it's like the main thing, you know, that we have. So you started in a bus? Started off with two tents. Okay. Before the bus. Uh-huh. But um, yeah, we started off with two tents and then we had two cars and then the first pop-up, we felt like we needed something bigger, like a U-Haul and then my dad happened to have an RV. So we started using the RV um, to bring everything. And then I started kind of setting it up like a little fitting room, like a lounge space. And then that's kind of like where it all kind of started. We ended up getting this bus and it just took off from there. Why did you decide to bring your business to Melbourne Everybody was doing it and I wanted to try it and it did definitely changed my life. My business wouldn't have popped off if it wasn't for Melrose Trading Post. <laughs> I had just started on default. So I was doing online and um, I started coming here and then it kind of like made me realize that I can actually do this full time. MTP basically, did you say it kind of kickstarted your business popularity? I feel like Depop definitely helped start the process. But once I came here, it helped me build even more where I was even able to open up a studio. Yeah, because yeah, I feel like being here consistently really um, reminded people that I was here. And it's kind of like a storefront in a way. Having like a corner like this really helped me, you know, establish myself here. Yeah. And now I'm like luring people, you know, everywhere else now. What would you describe as like your audience? Who do you hope sees your business and stops because that's for you? Everybody. Everybody. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. <laughs> we've got something for kids, we've got something for men, women. It's unisex vibes here. So, everybody. Yeah. And we do um, screen print a lot, and we do a lot of one of. We just basically just screen print on everything. So we're, I'm trying to launch more of that besides just vintage because I feel like I, I vintage kind of took over um, my whole plan. So now I'm trying to like go back and remember why I started the business. We're all about, you know, sustainability here. So I don't, I'm, I'm like not doing any fast fashion. I'm not doing bags anymore. I'm doing tote bags because we're trying to like save the planet and trying to do our part here. What would you say is your favorite memory here at Mount uh, Shading Post? Oh my God, winning the costume contest yeah. two, years two years in a row. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm like, how am I gonna beat myself next year? <laughs> I just love how you guys like plan events, you know, for us. And you guys think about, you know, the vendors and also the dogs, like having the costume contest was actually so epic. Blue should be there next year. Yes, she should. <laughs> Do you have any places that you love to shop here? Yes, um, I always go to High Christian, Vintage. I also love Vita Kush. Everybody, honestly. And I also love to go Persona, Persona the shop. The plant guys, of course. I always buy my plants from them. I'm actually gonna have to buy one because it's empty over there. I have like my regular people that I always go and like buy like, things that I need here. Mm -hmm. Carpet, Johnny Carpet. We actually do collaborations together. That's what I love about being here too, because I've met so many people. And if it wasn't for Melrose, I wouldn't 
collaborate with anybody, really, because everybody here is like doing the same hustle. So we all like unite. What makes you stay here at Melrose as opposed to going to any other market or like a brick and mortar? Well, that's goals. That's definitely goals for me uh, in the future. Uh -huh. um, but I feel like Melrose, I can't miss. I'm here, rain or hella shine, I'm out. Melrose is just a place of its own, you know? Yeah. Nothing compares. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. This was awesome. Thank you for having me.